feel like dropping some bars wearing this outfit right now. Tell that be gentle. I'm trying to get a Willy Wonka special. I know I ain't no gentle man. my channel if you are a returning subscriber hey family what is up if you are new here hi i hope you enjoy this video i hope you enjoy all my other videos i hope you enjoy my future videos before you leave don't forget to like and subscribe and if you are a returning viewer and you didn't subscribe the first time get to it today's video will be talking about the hood life fantasy. So what is a hood life fantasy? Have you ever seen any of those super rich or privileged, just like kids that, you know, they don't have to be necessarily well off, but like, just like kids that have a good life, trying so hard to be a part of like, the streets honestly i've seen this so often i'm sure a lot of you have seen it very often with like people growing up in like non-hood environments wanting to be a part of hood environments so i'll be talking about that and you know why it doesn't make any sense and why it's honestly pretty offensive to kids actually being raised in those type of environments if you grew up in a two-parent middle class privileged household why do you want to be living in the projects it's really weird because people from those areas are like trying so hard to get out of those areas well there are kids that are trying so hard to be a part of those areas and the thing is is like you will never fully understand what it feels like to be a part of those areas so putting on some black air forces smoking weed selling drugs and hanging out in tellies is not gonna just automatically turn you into a hood baby. I'm sorry. I don't even understand why that, it's like some people's like fantasy to be a part of these freaking areas. Why? My sister used to live in a low income area. In those areas, especially in the predominantly black ones, you see a lot of stuff that a kid should not see. There would be SWAT, a lot of the time you see stabbings shootings people getting arrested a lot like yeah it's really fun living in those areas because especially if you're a kid you become like a family with everybody you get this deep closeness with everybody around you everyone just becomes a big part of your life and it's great especially if you're one of those kids that probably don't really have a good relationship with your family but you can find that anywhere else you do not have to go to an area that has drive-bys every other week just to find friends go to school and find friends go to summer camp and find friends go to therapy and work on your relationship with your own family if it's such a problem gotta keep the airpods in for the look look like a uk rapper like honestly it's so weird at this point point. and then the thing is that you notice is like a lot of those kids that try so hard to be a part of those lifestyles don't always want to go as hard as they actually should or they don't go as hard as any of the other kids they don't hustle as hard as any of the other kids obviously because you're not from that area it's honestly like has turned into this weird aesthetic i feel like a lot of people that do that just want to like flex hundreds on their snapchat and pull up in a stolen benz and just like look cool but it's like you don't look cool you look like a scallywag is that a swear word sounds like a square word but i feel like it's not a square word is it a square word yeah you just look really really bad especially when people know you like if i see you on snapchat talking about i hustle every day to get where i'm at flexing your hundreds posting selfies in a telly and i know that you live in a predominantly white middle class beautiful residential area you look dumb i'm gonna clown you because you look dumb you look stupid i honestly don't even know what the hype is like do you want to get shot you want to get robbed 
Because if you're in areas like that, you're more likely to get shot and robbed than if you were in your quiet, middle-class neighborhood. I just don't know where the whole I wanna be in the streets came from. Where did that come from? I guess it's mainly people that just never really experienced what it is like to have to struggle. But why do you aspire to struggle? Why do people aspire to struggle? Just like with the whole struggle love thing, where like people will get into relationships with people that can't financially provide for themselves and they stick with that person. Why put yourself in a situation where you have to struggle? is what I'm saying. Like not saying, like not saying you have to go for somebody with money, but going into a relationship with someone that cannot financially provide for themselves, especially when you're like in your 20s, 30s, it's so difficult. It's hard. I've seen it so much in my own family with a lot of the women in my family dating these bums. <laughs> It's just these guys that are just so trash. And it's it's one thing where the person that is struggling is actually trying hard to not struggle. And it's another thing when they're sitting down every single day, not doing anything to better themselves. Why put yourself in that situation where someone else is now financially dependent on you and they're not your child? Moral of my story is stop begging for struggle. Nobody wants to be in struggle. While you're trying so hard to get into struggle, there's people out there trying to get out of the struggle. Now, I don't know what it is. You want to be a gangbanger? Do you think everybody in the hood becomes a rapper or something? You know, middle class kids can become rappers as well. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And it's like so offensive. Like, why are you trying so hard to pretend to be like these kids? The reason why it's so offensive is because yeah, you can dress like how they dress, you can do the things that they do, but you will never have the mentality that these kids out here have, never. You will never have to experience the struggles that they go through every single day. While you're getting picked up after school and getting cooked food by your mom, while you're sitting in your room playing video games, these kids are walking all the way home, having to go take care of a bunch of their siblings while they're most likely single mother is working three different jobs. It's like you'll never, ever, ever experience what they experience. So stop trying to pretend to be like them. It's freaking weird. Now back to what I said about you'll never have the mentality that they have. Let me explain it a bit further. So when I think about this, I think of like areas like hoods, government housing areas, like especially predominantly black, areas, poor white areas, and really poor indigenous reserves. These people grew up in this environment. These people's parents grew up in this environment. These people's parents, 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 parents grew up in this environment. They all have the same mentality. I forgot how I explained it the last time, oh my God. Bro, I was literally practicing the script that I wrote in my head and I don't fucking remember it. Now, I ain't trying to put everybody into one category. I'm not trying to say all of, all of the people from these areas have the same like little mentality, but this is just from my personal experience and just from the things that I have seen and from the people that I have spoken to about this stuff. When I say you'll never have this sort of mentality, this is what I mean. Let's say you live in a two parent household in a middle class, nice, diverse neighborhood. You've seen your parents go to school, go to college, graduate, get a job or even a career. You've seen your grandparents do that. Your great grandparents probably did that as well. So you've seen that this is basically the road you need to go on because that's what everybody else did. And you see that they're doing pretty successful. So that's the road that you're gonna go on. Now, imagine a kid in a single parent household with six different siblings living under government assistance. They wake up every morning and they see their parents struggle. Parents act like we don't see them struggling. We see you. When everybody around you is struggling, when you see that there's like almost nobody making it out of the poor area that you had the disadvantage of being born into, you start losing faith. You start losing hope. You don't have 
that motivation that other kids have to want to try to make it out of these situations. And even if you do have the motivation to try to make it out of these situations, there are things that are holding you down, causing you to not be able to make it out of these situations. And when I say motivation, I don't mean like somebody behind you being like, you can do it. You can get out the projects. You can get out the hood. I mean like generational motivation, like seeing your parents going to school, graduating, becoming successful. That's the type of motivation that I'm talking about. Because kids like that, they already have the mentality that school equals future, school equals success. When you don't have that motivation, when you don't have that generational motivation, when you see that people before you have just struggled, struggled and struggled and struggled, you don't think studying your head off is important because you just don't have that motivation that other kids had the advantage of having. Just like on indigenous reserves, my mom has been to two. Really, she was there for a year. You can literally feel the depression. You can feel the stress of having to wake up every single day and not know how to get out of these living arrangements that you have so unfortunately been born into. You can feel the pain that these people are feeling. And it's not that they're lazy and they can't get out of these situations because there are many that can, but there are many that just aren't able to. One, because of the lack of motivation. And two, because this is basically all they know. When you grow up in these areas, this is almost all you know. You don't really know how to really adapt to other situations, or maybe you do. I'm sure people have the capability of adapting to other environments, but it's just like when you are so comfortable and so used to being in one situation, it's hard to adapt to another situation. So it's not like these people want to stay in these areas. It's not like these people want to wake up and struggle every single day. It's not like these kids that are not going to school don't want to go to school. Maybe they can't. So you trying so hard to be a part of the freaking hood. You praying to God, hoping that you're gonna die and reincarnate into a hood baby. It's not a good idea. It makes no sense because the struggle is not fun. Fearing for your life every single day is not fun. I'm pretty sure it's rappers that just make all of this shit seem fun. Like all these rappers talking about, I made it out the hood and, da, 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 da. and they have their their grills and their gold chains and their this and their that yeah a lot of them have the advantage of making out the hood but they glamorize the hood so much to the point where people are like yeah this is how i get all that money this is what i can do to make it i want to be like future why the f you want to be like future those are just our role models in this generation that's why we're so we're just like mental cases because we don't have good role models <laughs> or we do but the bad role models are so in the limelight and they have the biggest mouths that's all you really see you don't really see the good role models the good role models are hiding in the shadows so now because of your role model nba young boy and ellen nl nle choppa you want to be a part of the hood because you think i'm gonna be just like them if i'm a part of that lifestyle no. Why don't you be a J. Cole? Be a J. Cole. Why don't you be a Jesse Reyes? Who's like a celebrity that was like rich before they came, became a celebrity. Be a Billie Eilish. Was Billie Eilish rich before she came, became famous? I don't, I don't know if she was rich, but I know she had a good life before. I think she had a good life before she became famous. So you don't always have to be a part of the hood to become these type of people, to get things that these people have. You can go to school, become successful, become a surgeon. Surgeons drive Benz, Ziz. Surgeons live in mansions. Surgeons have walk-in closets, you know? I wanna be a social worker. And I didn't even know that social workers make as much money as they do until I saw one of my social workers that used to work at my old high school, she's living lavish because she's friends with my mom. So like I got to go to like her house. She's living lavish. I, like I knew she was living lavish when she had her name written in her license plate. I don't know, bro, I was 13. 
Anytime I see people with like designer license plate, I just think they're well off. But yeah, you can still go to school and have all of those things. It's just, yeah, it might be harder work. Actually, it's not even harder work. It's just different types of hard work. Either fear for your life every day, potentially get shot or arrested, or maybe even killed, or study your ass off, spend all this money on freaking school. Freaking student loans, bro. Killing my insides. Put the pen to paper, or we don't even use pens and papers anymore. Put your finger to the keyboard and work your ass off. It's two types of hard work. You don't have to be a part of the hood baby lifestyle to achieve that. And the hard truth is not everybody in those situations end up being a future or end up being 2 chains, or end up being NBA young boy or end up being YNB, y, YBN Namir. Some of them end up shot and killed and arrested or some of them just end up struggling their whole lives, having a bunch of kids, their kids struggle their whole lives, they have kids, their kids struggle. It's just a cycle of mess. You don't need to be a part of that mess. If you live in a middle class area and your parents are doing good, thank them every single day. Stop taking everything for granted. Like I know, I always feel like I'm living a shitty life, but I have a TV in my room, okay? Some kids have never watched TV in their lives. I feel grateful for that. You know what I noticed? Because like I had my eyes like open like so for so long. And like I know people are probably gonna be like, ooh, she's her eyes are open so wide because she wants people to know her contacts. Bro, the shit's just hurt. Cause like I squint a lot. But if I squint with contacts in, I can feel it on the top of my eyelid. So that's why my eyes are just like but anyways, that was my video. I hope you guys liked listening to me talk about the hood lifestyle and why it's not glitz and glams and it's not an aesthetic and it's people's real lives and we shouldn't turn it into some glamorous thing because that's not what it is. But yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I hope everybody loves my video. I hope everybody loves my previous video. I hope everybody loves my videos to come. Again, if you are new here, what's up? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're not new here and you didn't subscribe, you didn't like, get to it. Get to it. Let me know what do you guys wanna see in future videos. And let me know if you wanna see future videos at all. Let me know if you want me to quit. <laughs> I'm not going to, but it will be nice to know that people want me to quit, so I should be working harder to make them not want me to quit. So thank you guys. I hope everybody has an amazing day and class dismissed.